Allegedly, tens of thousands of customers are complaining that their Atlantic City electric bills went up pretty much ever since the smart meters were installed. This is an old meter. This is the one I used to have on my house before the smart meter came out. You can see it has a single CT. That's a sensor, basically. It measures current, measures power. You can see it measured both legs, leg A, leg B, okay? Both of them measured by one transformer. Here we have a new smart meter. You can see the smart meter has two transformers, two CTs, uh, transducers, whatever you wanna call them, that measure leg A and leg B independently. Why does that matter? Well, leg A and leg B are supposed to be 180 degrees out of phase, and this thing is measuring what I would assume is the voltage peak to peak across both legs, which should always be 180 degrees out of phase in theory. This one over here measures leg A, leg B, and then would later on sum them together to figure out what your usage is. Let's see if these are actually 180 degrees out of phase because if they're not, then there's a good chance the old meter was under metering and the new meter is gonna be a little bit more accurate, maybe. But they're definitely measuring differently. Right there is proof. This is the test setup. I use these CTs here. This is the CT I actually took out of the electric meter. The only problem is you can't clamp it on a wire easily. I could use that to prove it out, but they basically had the same properties. You see, I had the one from the meter here and my own here. Okay, CT. This is this wire right here. It goes to a soldering iron, a purely resistive load, okay? This extension cord goes to a box fan, a purely inductive load. Okay, I have the box fan wired to this CT right here, which is hooked to input two on the oscilloscope. I have the soldering iron, the purely resistive load, wired to input one on the oscilloscope. I'm gonna turn on the soldering iron and I'm gonna go ahead and you'll see we have a funny looking wave at first, but it smooths out. I'm gonna put the box fan, turn that on. We, I already auto scaled it, but I'll auto scale it again. Okay, take a look. You can see that this phase has the, it's down here. This is a straight line and the sh there's a shift. So we have on a purely resistive load, we have, this is measuring current. CTs measure current and convert it to a voltage, which is measurable using the oscilloscope. So we are seeing a current phase shift, and this is all on one leg, doesn't even have to be on different legs. This is just the phase shift on a 20 foot piece of extension cord or 10 foot piece of extension cord between these two devices. And you're seeing what, if you were to measure from peak to peak, now I have these, re I have these reversed to give you what looks like two legs, but the same thing would happen on opposite legs. So you see, if you measured peak to peak, you're no longer peak to peak, you're off by, I don't know what that is, five, seven degrees. So with a single CT measuring both of these, which is what they were doing in the old meter, you'd be undercharging by 10 or 15%. Now I'm not qualified to be making any determination here. This is just my experiment in my lab. I also hooked it up to my breaker box in my house. I got a very similar result. I'm not qualified to be the person to tell you whether or not the new meter is metering differently, measuring differently, or the old meter was under metering. But I would, I would ask this question. If you sum up all the usage of every customer on the Atlantic City Electric Grid, sum up all the usage or the delta, the difference in the usage ever since the smart meters were rolled out, and then you sum up the difference in what they're generating and putting onto the grid, do the numbers match? Because my money is on no. But that's what they have to figure out. So I want you guys to tag van drew and i want you to tag nor'easter nick if you see this video because i know they're both interested in this topic and i do believe that this is part of the problem there may be other problems from what i'm seeing but i think that this phase shift this current phase shift where you have inductive loads every house is different that a, an inductive load phase shift across two legs on the secondary side of a transformer absolutely would cause a single ct meter to read differently than a dual ct meter